Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we discussed about creating the extent report. So if you observe our report, we are missing a very important detail. That is when a particular scenario is failed, there is no information about its cause. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can get the cause of the failure and add it to the report. So first, let me put a debug point inside our after scenario method and run this in a debug mode. So we are at the debug point. So as you can see here, this is the scenario object which got injected automatically by the Cucumber framework. And inside this object, there is a private field called step result. This is an private array list which contain information about each step belonging to the scenario. So for a particular scenario, you can see here there are total six steps. So this is the result of every step. Status is pass, duration and error is null. But if you look at the object of scenario. So we don't have any direct method that will give the information about this particular array list. And to add the information about the failure, we need this information. So we need to use another approach for getting this private array list. In the current case, I'm going to use the concept of reflection. So using the reflection, I'm going to bypass the private check and access this array list. So inside our custom extent reporter, I'm going to add one more private method. The return type of this method is string and the name is get error message. So make sure that the instance which is going to pass to this method is coming from package that is cucumber.api. So inside this method, first I'm going to create two lists. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use the reflection concept to access the private variable. So here I will use scenario dot get class dot get declare field. And the field name is step result. As you can see here, this statement is going to throw us checked exception. So I will use try catch block. And the return type of this method is of type field. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a private variable. Now in order to access this private variable, we need to bypass the security and that can be done by calling a method that is step result dot set accessible and pass the flag as true. So after this, we need to access the private variable value that can be done by this. And the object is scenario. And I'm going to typecast it to a list of result. And store inside the test result list. So after this, we are going to filter out this list and create a sub list. The sub list will have only failed step. So let me put a if check here. If result list is not equal to null and it's not empty. So then filter this list and for filtering, I'm going to use the string concept. The filter criteria I'm going to define with the help of a lambda expression. So return x dot get error message not equal to null. So for all those steps for which this condition is true, return only those element. And I'm going to collect it in the form of a list. and stored inside this second list that is failed step list. Now 
then again I will put one more check for the failed step list if both of this condition are true then return the exception message so return so return failed step list dot get of zero dot get of error message and in other case just return the empty string so I'm going to use this method inside our create test method let me create one more string variable and I'm going to use this variable over here so let me put a breakpoint over here and run the generic runner in a debug mode so we are at the debug point so step over So you can see here we are able to access the value of the private array list. Then we will do the filtering using the string concept. So the fail list is empty. Okay, so let me move this piece of code under this case. And rerun this in a debug mode. So it has hit the debug point step over so we are able to get the private field now we will bypass the security by using this method and then we will get its value so as you can see here the result list has the information about all the step and this is the failed step step over again so out of this result list we are going to filter out only those step which are failed and create a separate list so inside the failed step list this is the step and using this we will get the error message so this error message will be added to the report and let me just disable all the breakpoint and continue with the execution so the execution is done let us check out the report so this is the report let me open a failed one so now we have a detailed explanation about cause of the failure 